Fast cast movies. So after finishing up the Indiana Jones movies, Hulu recommended Air Force One. And I was like, man, I haven't watched that in a while. So first things first, let's just get this out of the way. There's gonna be some political commentary in this episode. Because right, wrong, or indifferent, I could not watch this movie without imagining our current situation. Because like the last at least three presidents I could imagine in this role. Are, would they be Harrison Ford in this role? Of course not. But Obama? Pff, done. George W. Bush? Sure. I could see that, honestly. Bill Clinton? Come on. Ironically, the Bill Clinton now would probably stand a better chance than fat Bill Clinton when he was in office. And then we start getting into H.W., who the last time I saw him, he was getting wheeled out at the Super Bowl. So I don't know that he could, but you know, 30 years ago, maybe he could. But when I think about our current buffoon in chief, <laughs> first of all, trying to fund off Russian terrorists, <laughs> he would actually be working with them. So the movie is basically there is a hardline general who's trying to perform a military coup in Russia. America steps in to be the humanitarian, <laughs> I know, just hold on, to help with the refugees. And these like Chechen rebels take over the plane and they're trying to get their general guy released. And then it's basically from that point on, it's just die hard on a plane with the president. It was solid. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it's a fun little action flick. Harrison Ford does a terrific job as always. I mean, honestly, a couple of the moments that he has to play in this, like where he has to stay silent while he's the guy's about to kill a hostage, because if he doesn't, it'll be even worse. And then when he's getting a countdown with a dog with a gun to his daughter's head, and he's like, I'll do it. I bought it. I absolutely bought that this was a man caught between love of family and love of country and sense of duty, etc. The main unfortunate thing about this movie is that after all of how good it was, it ends with a horribly dated CGI shot that looks absolutely terrible of the plane crashing into the sea, which literally almost ruined the whole movie for me because I was just like, oh God, it looks like a bad video game cutscene. So maybe like close your eyes or blink a little bit when that scene comes along so that you don't have to see it. So that's Air Force One, I give it an A. Still holds up mostly and man, is it interesting to look at what the political situation looked like back then, especially compared to now. Fastcast movie, see ya! Hey, thanks for watching the Fastcast. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at MrJHandle. And remember to check back, because I do this a couple times a week. Thanks a lot, everybody. Fastcast!